Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna show you how to boost your FPS in The Division 2. First of all, we will start with the video. Uh, make sure that you're playing full screen. Uh, resolution depending on wh what you're using but for sure if you have like an integrated video card maybe you should play at 720p something like that don't go full hd make sure that your refresh rate is matching with your screen and also you can do a test with the direct x12 for me I, I was getting like three to four fps more increase but the thing is I, I had like some crash with the game so depending on your video card drivers and patch that ubisoft will do uh, probably it will be better in the future if you have like a, a recent uh, video card uh, but uh, yeah just test for this one graphic quality so let's start so first of all I, uh, I, I I'm not using vsync and also I don't use frame limit because I want to to, to see uh, how many uh, FPS I can get when I'm playing so this is my parameter First of all, all those shadow uh, parameters over here, put those at low or off. Just with those one, you're getting 15% 15 of increase straight up. So really important. And honestly, uh, your image, you don't lose a lot of like image quality. It's just like shadow. So just put this one at low and off and you will gain a lot of FPS. And also you're not necessarily to do the old guide because honestly some, some people with 15% uh, of increase for the FPS, uh, they will be fine after that. They're getting their 60 so they don't need to change anything else. So just do your test on your own. Uh, after that resolution scale I'm playing at 100% don't go under 100 honestly you will see your image quality decrease a lot it's it's last last resort after the old guide if you're still struggling with your FPS you will have to touch to, to this one sharpening uh, not like a big improvement over there it doesn't change anything uh, particle detail uh, this one you can go lower you will have more stable FPS when you're fighting explosion and stuff like that uh, you will gain like one to two uh, percent of stable of FPS, if I can say. It's more like if you don't have a really good computer and you're playing at high, you will maybe lose 10% of your FPS when something when you will see a lot of particle. It takes a lot of resources, so make sure that you're good with this one. Volumetric fog, really important. Seven percent if you go too low. Uh, big boost over here, so really important. Reflection uh, quality, same thing. Reflection in any game, uh, it's something really important. If you go to medium, you will gain two to three percent of increase for each bracket. But this one is more important. Local reflection quality. Just put this one at off, and you will gain a nice five percent of FPS. Veg vegetation quality. I'm putting at medium. It's like two to three F uh, percent uh, boost for each bracket. In this game, you see a lot of vegetation, so this is really important for like trees, grass, and stuff like that. So it will affect your FPS. Uh, substance phase scattering, I saw like 1 to 2 FPS boost, so not really important. So I'm staying this one at on. Anisotropic filtering, um, just follow uh, the, um, the texture that you will use. So for example, if you have a video card with like, I don't know, 2 gig of VRAM or 3 gig, Go with something at 2x, if you have 4 gig, go at 8x, and if you have more, you can go with 16, no problem. Uh, after that, ambient occlusion, put this one at low. Same thing with all the parameter with the shadow, you will have a pretty nice uh, chunk of FPS over here, honestly. It's like a 6% boost. Depth of feel, uh, I didn't see a big improvement over there, honestly. Uh, normally, in some game, when you remove depth of field, you're getting a couple of FPS. In this one, I didn't see any change, so I don't know if I uh, like some issue because it's a beta, but I didn't add any boost over here. Object detail, you have a slider here, so if you go lower, you will gain more FPS, less detail in the object, and if you go higher, you will have more. Uh, if you go in the minimum here, you will gain like 6 to 7 FPS, so pretty decent, so just do your test and see... Uh, um, what you want to use. Lens flare, I didn't see a big improvement over here, honestly, like 1 to 2 FPS, uh, not a huge thing, so just stay at on for this one. Vignette, same thing, not a huge thing. So, um, after that, water quality. Water quality depends uh, where you are in the map, but uh, again, it's, it's a bit like reflection uh, particle. Uh, it's more like when you interact with it or you look at it, uh, you you will not gain more FPS, but it's more like to gain to to have like stable uh, FPS because sometimes you're just like 
watching the water you do a quick move and you, you you're getting like 15 fps drop and you don't know why it's because of this so if you have those kind of issue uh, just lower a little bit your water quality chromatic aberration right now put this one at off it's causing me a lot of issues uh, you will be better without it so make sure that you're putting this one at off after that project texture resolution depending on your vram again um so if you have like four gig and more you can go higher you can go like this if you have less you will have to decrease a little bit your texture resolution and uh same thing with the sky texture if you have like eight gig of vram just go with yes with this one you will not, not have any issue and the last one terrain quality um i'm putting this one at medium you will get two to three percent of fps boost uh, depending uh, for each bracket and uh, that's about it with all the graphic parameter in the game uh, now we will go in the config file you can change the anti-aliasing over there and I will show you how so now the config file so go to document my games Tom Clancy's sees the division 2 open graphics setting here with notepad plus plus this software is free and it's kind of it's better when you want to see your graphic parameter uh, go to TAA and make sure that you're putting one there. Normally, by default, it will be three. It's your anti-aliasing, and you will gain straight up 15% boost over there. So make sure that you're changing with one. Save. After that, close it. Right-click on the file. Go to Properties and make sure that you put the file in read-only. So you will make sure that the game doesn't like override your graphic parameter. Really important. And you press OK. So that's about it for the config file. Now you can um, ask me any question if you have uh, an issue uh, with this game. So post me your rig, CPU, GPU and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace, guys.